Hi there. Thanks so much for taking a couple minutes to check out this quick little PowerPoint tip. So this tip will help you if you want to be able to show information slowly, like, you know, just like little bits at a time, but you can't use the traditional animations because it's something like a picture. So let me show you what I mean. Normally, here's a page here. Normally, I would be able to, you know, type into this and I can use an animation to be able to make this show up at different times. However, this is a picture. So I cannot, you know, have different things fly in at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use white shapes or white, you know, squares or rectangles to cover up the information so I can have it showing as I want it to. So what I'm going to do is here in my home, I'm gonna to go to shapes and then I'm going to choose the rectangle and I am just gonna put a rectangle right over this part that I want to cover up. Then I'm going to change the fill to white and the outline to white so it doesn't have that blue line around the outside. Let's do that again for this. Um, and this one, I want to be able to show these two things separately. So shape fill, shape outline, and now I'm just going to copy this square, or rectangle rather, there we go, and put it right on top of that. So let me show you the next thing to do. Now let's say you've covered everything up. Now this is what you need to animate. So I'm going to click on animations, and I don't want, these are all entrance ones, so if I click right here on more, I can see these are entrance. I don't want this to show up, I want this to leave. So I'm gonna scroll down to exit. So I have all these fun things. Let's try first, I'll do this one with a disappear. Then let's go here, I have this. Now a tip you might wanna do is to maybe leave these a color for the moment while you need to animate them so that you know where to click, but it's up to you. Okay, I'll use this, the fade for this one. And then for this one, I will use the fly out. Okay, and I could continue doing that for the rest of the PowerPoint. So let's take a look at what's gonna happen when I present this. So I'll have my first page, then I'll have my second page and I'll say geology. It's the study of the planet Earth. And now when I clicked on the my mouse or I could have used the arrow key, whatever you use, now this next part appears. Geologist, a person who studies the processes that create Earth's features. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to my next page and you'll see, again, just that first part. I have these two things. Remember I had something right over here and something right over here. So I'm going to click my arrow or click my mouse and you can see now that shows up and then I'll do it again and that shows up. Now, even though I had picked different animations, you really don't see that much with it because it's a white box that's leaving. But that was just your little quick tip on something you can do when you wanna add animations or you want text to uh, appear or disappear when you have a picture. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or to send me an email. That'll be in the description box. I hope that you'll subscribe for more tips like this. And as always, stay techie. Bye.